Peekaboo! I see you! It's a Go In this video, we get to see some awesome airplanes like this one and that one. We're going to get to learn about space shuttles and even watch one as it launches into outer space. Then we're going to get inside the cockpit of some real airplanes and we're going to learn some awesome principles about flight. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Hi, it's me. Uncle Bebo! Whoa! Bebo! Whoa! 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 It's me, Uncle Bebo, and today we're here at the Chico Air Museum in Chico, California. Come on, let's go look at some airplanes. Let's go! on a space shuttle. Wow, look how big it is. You can imagine how ginormous space shuttles are if this is what the tires look like. Let's watch this awesome video of a real space shuttle launching into outer space. Two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Now let's watch this video of that same space shuttle coming down and landing on a landing strip. Space shuttles are so big and they're so heavy and they come in so fast that they have to deploy a parachute before they can actually land to help them slow down. Whoa, I can't believe that I got to touch a real space shuttle tire. This actual landing was the last landing of any U.S. space shuttle in 2011. In the year 2020, brand new spacecraft are going to be created and launched into outer space. I am so excited to see what the future holds for space travel and humans in outer space. Let's go check out some more airplanes. Hey. Let's see what's inside. Come on. Whoa, look at all this space stuff. Wow. Oh, look. It's a model of an actual space shuttle. See that? That's really cool. Look over here. This is a really special seat. This is an actual seat where actual astronauts used to sit and get dressed and ready to go on a real space shuttle. 
Can you believe that? Real astronauts actually sat on this bench, just like me. Whoa, look over here. Look at this, these are some more models of some experimental spacecraft. Wow, they look so cool. And this over here, look, it's a model of an actual astronaut. Whoa, you have to wear really weird looking outfits to go into outer space. Hi, it's me, Peekaboo, Peekaboo. Hey, I have an idea. You want to go sit in a real airplane? You do? Come on, follow me. Since you're sitting in the passenger seat, you get to be the, the co-pilot. Can you say co-pilot? Yeah, Uncle Bebo's the pilot and you're the co-pilot. Okay, you ready to take off? Whoa, okay, I gotta remember my training where all these buttons are before we take off. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yep, yeah, we gotta pull this one, pull this one, push this button, this button, this button, this button, make sure the roll stab is on. I see, I see clouds. You see those clouds out there? All right. Now, if I turn the, the control wheel, we'll turn to the right. Whoa! Go straight and turn to the left. Whoa! If I push forward, we go down. Whoa! Okay, turn to the right. Oh no! Oh no! Do you hear that? It's an alarm. Something's going wrong. Oh, I gotta remember my training. Let me push some of these buttons. There we go. It's all better now. All right, let's take her in for a landing. Ready? Go down and we're nice and landed. Okay, this sure was fun flying in this real airplane, but I think I see some more airplanes down there. Let's go check them out, come on. Whoa, check it out. I see a yellow airplane. Yellow's one of my favorite colors. Let's fly it, come on. Whoa, watch your head. There's airplane wings everywhere. Wow, look at this yellow airplane. This airplane is called a Thorpe T211, and it's a really cool airplane. Let's go over the parts of the airplane again. You've got the wing. You've got the ailerons. This part right here is the aileron. Can you say aileron? That's a weird word, aileron. And this part right here, yeah, this part is called the flap. The flap of the airplane controls the drag and the lift of the airplane. So you can make it take off and slow down so you can land. Oh, and over here, look, it's another horizontal stabilizer wing. And it has an elevator. This part controls the pitch of the airplane to make it go up or down. And look, it's a vertical stabilizer wing and it has a rudder. The rudder controls the yaw of the airplane, makes it turn like this, yaw, yaw. 
On the yoke, the elevator actually goes up and down. That makes the airplane go up and down. And when I turn it left and right, it makes the ailerons move. And that controls the roll of the airplane. Okay, here we go, we're gonna take off. Get back there so you can really see me. All right, here we go, we're taking off. I'm getting really dizzy. Whoosh. And we're safe and sound. Tower, this is Pilot Bebo. Yep, we landed over now. The Chico Air Museum has so many cool things, like this room full of model airplanes. Look at how many different kinds there are. And this room full of aerial firefighting memorabilia. Look at this uniform of a real firefighter. If you ever see a real firefighter or policeman in real life, make sure you say thank you for your service because they risk their lives every day to keep us safe. And look at this room full of other pilots jackets and uniforms. Wow, the Chico Air Museum is so awesome. Whoa, there's even more airplanes outside. Hey, you want to go ride in a fun toy airplane? Come on, let's go. This airplane, this airplane has two sets of wings. See, one, two. When airplanes have two sets of wings, it's called a bi-wing. That's cool. Helicopters are a lot different than airplanes and they each have advantages and disadvantages. Helicopters like this can take off and land vertically well, airplanes have to go forward to take off. Do you notice anything funny about this airplane? Look, there's no doors. Man, 
that really makes you wonder, how do people get inside of this airplane? Oh, I think I know how. Follow me, look. That's how people are supposed to get in and out of this airplane. Whoa. What a weird way to get in and out of an airplane. Whoa, let's look at these other ones. There's some more cool airplanes over here. Come on. Hey, have you ever wondered how an airplane actually flies? Well, it's a little thing that can be explained by Bernoulli's principle. Can you say Bernoulli's principle? That's kind of a silly name. But anyways, he was a really smart guy who figured out how airplanes fly. What happens is the air moves really fast over the top of the wing because of the design is called an airfoil. And when air moves really fast, it creates low pressure. And that means the air underneath the, aerpl the airplane wing has higher pressure. So it pushes the airplane up as it flies through the air. That's so cool, it's called lift. Whoa, look at this. Come on, there's more airplanes to look at. This airplane looks really, really fast. I wonder if it's supersonic. Can you say supersonic? Supersonic means that the airplane actually travels faster than the speed of sound. And the speed of sound is 768 miles per hour, or 1,235 kilometers per hour. I can remember that because it's one, two, three, five. Whoa, so when airplanes actually move faster than 768 miles per hour, they're going faster than sound. So you see the airplane and it's silent. And then a few seconds later, boom, you hear the engines. That means if you can go faster than 768 miles per hour, you're faster than sound. Let's see if Uncle Bibu can run faster than the speed of sound. Okay, I'm gonna clap my hands and you tell me if you hear me clap before I pass the camera. Ready? I'm gonna go faster than the speed of sound. Ready? Go! Ah. Did I do it? No? Well, I guess I'm not faster than the speed of sound. Oh well, I could always get inside an airplane that's faster than the speed of sound. Hey, it's me again! Uncle Bebo! That was so much fun learning and playing with you today at the Chico Air Museum. I love airplanes! Hey, you wanna hang out some more and watch some more of my videos? You do? Well, click right here. Oh, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Well, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!